Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper vulnerability audit. Recently, Lexmark released a new security advisory where it details over 100 of its printer models that are affected by a vulnerability. Now, this vulnerability has a base score of 9.0, so it's quite severe. So it's important that you update your firmware as soon as possible. Uh, if any attacker does abuse this vulnerability, it can lead to remote code execution. So it's important that obviously you update as soon as possible. To help you with this, we've created a specialized Landsweeper report for you, so you can easily identify which devices are uh, affected or might be affected in your environment. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of Landsweeper. So here in the report area, we get an overview of all of the reports that are in the Landsweeper environment. Obviously, this time we're looking for vulnerability reports. So we're going to head over to the security category where you can find all of the audits reports that we publish around vulnerabilities. Now, these will be automatically updated and pushed to your environment. So there's no need for you to grab anything or do anything on your site. All you need to do is check back regularly to see if there's any new audits for specific vulnerabilities. Now, to take a look at one, we simply head over and click on it. And there you get immediately a list of all the devices that are vulnerable or could be vulnerable to that specific vulnerability. Now you can use this list to start taking actions, to take a closer look at, is this software really up to date? Is it not um, to identify vulnerable machines and start working on it? So you always have kind of a list of an actionable list of items that you can start working on. Now, obviously, similar to anything else in Landsweeper, if you want to get more information, you can simply click on one of the assets and I'll give you a complete detailed overview of that specific asset itself, including all of the details, hardware, software, users, etc. depending on, you know, obviously depending on which device you're clicking on, you'll get more or less data depending on what we can retrieve from it. Um, and with that, if you want to try this out for yourself, obviously, if you don't have Landsweeper yet, you can start uh, your free trial and you can try it out for free. Um, get this set up for yourself or your own IT environment and see what it's like for you in your own environment. Um, and uh, if you want more information, you can always head over to the blog that we've created around the vulnerability. It'll give you more information on what the vulnerability is exactly um, and how you might have to resolve it, what version you need to update to, etc. So you can find all the information there on our website. And with that, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.